Hi, and welcome to Style Thoughts by Rita, where today I'm talking about the Kivy Soft Natural, the Fresh and Sensual Lady. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how the Soft Natural Lady is described in the Metamorphosis. I am going to illustrate using the Kivy Verified Soft Natural Celebrities, and I will talk a little bit about the Soft Natural Essence and her smiling and do a bit of comparisons. Okay, this is probably really repetitive right now, but this is not meant to be a checklist for you to compare yourself to, nor are the celebrities meant for you to compare yourself to. The purpose of this video is just like fun and to learn more about like what the different image IDs are, as I guess we're all just like interested in the system and just to get some visual examples. And as always, I really urge you to just like go to the Strictly Kibbe Facebook group. Uh, there are many soft natural ladies there, soft natural ladies styled by David Kibbe. So you can see a lot of different styling examples and just, uh, you know, uh, hang out and have a great time. Okay, so the soft natural was described as being very soft yang with a yin undercurrent and as having a fresh and appealing essence. Uh, this is somewhere I wanted to comment that in the Facebook groups, David has like clarified that he doesn't like the phrasing of like soft yang anymore, that it's but more helpful to think about it as blunt yang because soft yang is kind of a contradiction in terms. So I think that's helpful. Uh, so basically, the soft natural has a moderate to slightly small build, so she is up to 5 feet 7 inches. She is slightly angular, slightly square, or broad shoulders, and she has moderate to slightly short limbs. She also described in the book as potentially having a slightly leggy look, but yeah, I mean, I don't think that's something to worry too much about. <laughs> Uh, her body shape is described as being slightly curvy and tending towards an hourglass, but not, you know, super much so. And then she's described as having slightly fleshy arms and thighs and just general body that tends towards fleshiness. Her facial features are described as being full and rounded, and her facial contours are slightly blunt, small, or irregular. Not sure what irregular means in this context, but I think we can see the general picture I'll only look at the celebrities later. Okay, so the soft natural lady is described as being kind of fresh and sensual. That's her tagline. And uh, I guess my thoughts on this, as I understand it, is that from her kind of like width and the strength of her frame, the soft natural has just this general impression of this, the charisma, like the ease, the approachability. And then she has this uh, like curviness uh, that is part of the romantic undercurrent that gives her this kind of like appealing magnetic, the sensuality essence. So that's kind of the combination of the soft natural. And I think it's also interesting to think about the soft natural celebrities that um, Kibi has identified as these kind of like classic Hollywood ones because they are, I guess, like quite sexy, some of them, uh, but also a lot of them are kind of like this fun, like funny, like kind of like funny and lovable. Um, I think that is quite interesting to me. So, okay, <laughs> now we're going to look at the celebrity examples. I am going to put a full list of the verified celebrities in the video description. Um, so, okay, first a look at the faces. Um, so just to give you kind of an impression of what this, what do the soft natural celebrity faces look like? Uh, what can this kind of like width uh, mean? I think that, again, you can see as with all image ideas, there's just like a great diversity in how these women's faces look. But at the same time, you can see kind of like this unifying theme, perhaps. Again, here, and I think it's very cute. They're all smiling, so many smiles. Again, you can see a lot of difference in the facial features, in uh, everything, because <laughs> they're different people. But this kind of maybe like width, maybe like bluntness, I think is kind of clear in the faces. 
Okay, and now let's look at the soft natural body shape. I think one of the main things that we have really talked a lot about in the groups is that the soft natural is kind of characterized by some width in her upper body. And I think uh, maybe you look at somebody like Betty Grable and you say, well, Betty doesn't really seem like she has any width in her shoulders. Um, but I think it's good to remember that the width is not in not only in the shoulders itself, but the entire kind of like upper back across the arms area. And I think um, I can see a bit more in this cute picture. Um, when she's spreading herself out a bit. So in general, yeah, you can see that these ladies are kind of like petite, moderate height, that they have uh, this width in their upper body, they have this curve. Again, I think it's interesting to note that their curves are not like super exaggerated, um, but they are there and they're like this focal point on their body along with their width. You can see in modern celebrities who are a bit more toned, I think you can see it's even more pronounced, this how prominent the shoulders are. So I think it's not maybe difficult sometimes for people to think about themselves in terms of width. I, I just think it's like these pictures I chose because I think they're really good. You can see how like the, f the strength of the frame on these ladies. And again, you can see kind of their like gentle curviness as well. Okay, so now we come to styling. And if you have uh, seen my earlier videos, you know I think this um, soft natural suggestions online, just I find them very annoying. Um, Julianne Ho, she does not need to dress like this to be a soft natural. Um, she can dress many different ways. Uh, I'm not saying these two outfits are like great examples of soft natural outfits, please. But I'm just saying that they seem to like be fitting her and accommodating her body and um, they're just kind of like some simple looks so you don't really need to be covering yourself up and wearing like cocky colors and uh, sandy colors. I uh, think Carol Liebman, you know, very glam queen with Scarlett Johansson, which is like, I guess, one of the sexiest women of our time, uh, also soft naturals. So. There is a lot of like potential for you to be the glam sexy queen you dream of, I guess, for soft naturals. Uh, again, not necessary to cover yourself up with a brown shawl at all times. And it's just yeah, good to remember that again, like just for us all image IDs, the soft natural women, they have very different styles. You have some more like, I don't know, kind of like romantic feminine, maybe like eclectic funky style, this like kind of fun classic lines Julie Andrews has <laughs> been working. So again, like just like a great diversity of actual style within for these celebrities. And again, maybe not the best recommended styles for you as a soft natural, but just nice to be aware of the variety. Okay, and now I wanted to talk about how the soft natural compares to the other image ideas. Again, to repeat, like, I think that I'm just talking about how the yin and yang balance that is found within the celebrities who are confirmed to belong to different image IDs like differs. So I just kind of choose pictures that like illustrate that, but I don't mean to use these pictures as kind of like proof of anything specific. They're just like visual aids. So first I want to talk about the comparison between the soft natural and the flamboyant natural. This is something that I personally was confused about when I thought I was the soft natural. Uh, and the reason for that was because I think I had this idea that if you are, you know, soft uh, as Scarlett on the left, then you're a soft natural. And, you know, if you have this very like athletic and trim body type like Cameron Diaz on the right, then you are a flamboyant natural. And I think part of that comes from like this over attachment to the soft word in the soft natural. But it's the soft natural lady as I understand it, is not just characterized by a general softness in her body, um, but rather she is characterized by the overall balance of her um, yin and yang, which, uh, as Kibi said, is kind of this like blunt, 
um, yang with a yin undercurrent. So I think like the whereas the flamboyant yang lady, she does not have the yin undercurrent. She is all the blunt yang. And I think like the clearest difference for some uh, between some flamboyant and soft naturals is this height. So I don't know, like, I think, you know, David is right that all of the internet sources on people's like heights are completely untrue because according to the internet, Katy Perry and Anne Hathaway have like a one to two inch height difference, like a three centimeter height difference. I don't, that doesn't seem just true to me, but doesn't matter. The point is, I just included this here because Katy Perry on the left, she's a verified soft natural. And I think you can see she has this width in her upper body and then she has this very gentle curviness. Whereas Anne Hathaway, she has the same kind of strength in her frame, this kind of prominence, but she just, uh, even though she clearly has curves, you can see on her body, she also has this very dominant vertical line. So even though she has curves, they are not like really into her silhouette in the same way they are to Katy Perry's. Uh, at the same time, like I think Anne Hathaway, you know, as a lady from what like we know of her is very soft looking, you know, like not just in her facial features, but her body. I mean, she just doesn't have this very like lean physique. So I think that she's a, just a great like reminder about how the soft in soft natural does not really refer to the flesh, but refers to, it's like an adjective descriptor to the overall yin and yang balance. <laughs> because I see like a lot of things online about how like, I don't know, um, Chrissy Teigen or like Heidi Klum or something are like soft naturals. Uh, because I guess they have like a soft appearance, even though I think like these women all seem to have a very strong vertical. But that's, I mean, the point of this video is not to type people. I'm just like addressing that I think that there is some confusion about the importance of like fleshiness because fleshiness is so emphasized in the metamorphosis description. Okay, now I wanted to talk a bit about the soft natural versus the romantic. So as we know, the romantic lady is pure yin as as we've been talking about now the soft natural lady she has the blunt yang with a yin undercurrent so basically the difference between the two is obviously that one of them has this blunt yang and the other one doesn't um but i feel like especially for like more petite women with curves it's always a bit unclear whether one is has the yang or whether one is just kind of like softly wide in the way that romantics are described as being with their yin and i guess that's just like you know up to every person to discover whether you have this blunt yang in your frame or not i do have like one helpful illustration so i think kat dennings is often kind of seen as a person that could be a romantic because she is very she has a very lush curvy body and she has very lush facial features and i don't know what kind of character she plays but you know i think people see her that way but i think like in these two dresses on the left where she's dressing to really like accentuate her curves and the dresses do not have enough kind of like allowance for her entire upper back shoulder and chest area her chest really ends up being like squished up on her body again these are like illustrative examples but there's a lot of like pictures like this that are less extreme whereas once she removes that kind of like tightness around her upper back and shoulders on the right you can see that even though her chest is prominent it isn't like this super squishy uh situation where it's like really up there so i think that she's like a good example of a woman who clearly has this blunt yang in her frame that she needs to respect in her clothing and then another point of confusion i've noticed is this soft natural versus usually flamboyant gamine and i guess this is because both of these ladies maybe are a bit like petite and maybe have some yang and have some yin or are unsure how the whole combination goes together and again i think that the answer is that the soft natural women will just have this blunt yang with the yin undercurrent whereas the flamboyant gamine is more described as 
having the sharp yin and the mixture of yin and yang that is uh, very visible. So my, <laughs> I think this is fun. Um, I just think that sometimes women who are maybe a bit more petite and height or soft naturals can like wear outfits that are very like visually intense, like Julianne or Scarlett here. You know, with a lot of like patterns and a lot of like opposites in terms of like fit and stuff. Uh, and then you can say like, well, these outfits look really pretty. So maybe that means I'm a flamboyant gamine. I mean, I don't know how much difference there is in these two ladies to Reese Witherspoon the gamine. So I just think it's a fun reminder that these clothing types are not necessarily going to help you figure it out and I think the answer is again uh, I think like reportedly there's just like a few centimeters height difference between Reese and Scarlett and Julianne but I guess so it's not really about like the height and the size but it's about your specific yin and yang balance where the soft natural women are characterized by this blunt yang this like width whereas the flamboyant gamine is not described as having any kind of width at all and yeah i know reese is like a soft gamine but this is an illustrative example <laughs> so anyway to summarize everything what is notable to me about the soft natural is that she has this moderate to smallish build um, and she has this softly wide and curvy body and then she also has this very like sweet and appealing essence that comes from this combination of her uh, blunt yang and this yin. She's the fresh and sensual lady. She is this sparkling woman I think who really combines her charismatic glow with this touch of magnetic appeal. So, uh, so that's it for the soft natural. Thank you very much for listening to my thoughts and let me know what you think.